What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. The first Vegas 16 tutorial after my holiday and you guys can probably notice it that I got tanned like a lot. If you guys wanted to see the trip to Spain I made last week, make sure to go ahead and check out yesterday's video where you can see all about it. But in today's video, we're going to talk about something I've never done before on the channel and that is basically, you know, the floor is lava effect. If you guys are wondering how to do that, make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you guys obviously right after the intro. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, this is basically the angle I'm going to use today because most videos of like the floor is lava, usually they're filmed in like just living rooms, but I have to mention that our living room is simply not big enough to create an entire scene like with the couch right there, then another couch right there, a table right there so you can have the entire floor with lava. So I don't have a big enough living room yet, but obviously in our next house we will have that so we would just recreate that video obviously in our next home but for right now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to turn this floor in lava I make it look pretty realistic so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make this floor lava so you can apply that obviously onto your living room and then you can have the floor as lava effect so I'm gonna make this effect and then obviously you will see the floor become lava Okay, so as you can see right now, this is the effect I'm going to show you guys today. Just apply the lava, just add in the glows, etc. So I would say, let's go to Vegas, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. And again, I apologize that I cannot make like the typical scene. Our living room is not big enough, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 16 and this is the clip that I'm going to apply the lava on. Like I've mentioned, the house isn't big enough to create that typical lava effect. I cannot keep saying that enough, but that's basically why I'm doing this this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag in some lava stock footage as you can see like this. So what we're going to do is we are going to make our footage right here and then we want to create a new video track. So we're going to right click on the track, insert video track and we're going to put our lava on top of it. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to model this until it looks like it's on the floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the track motion icon and then we're going to pick at the top it says source alpha. We're going to put that one to 3D source alpha. Now as you can see those four boxes are popping up one two three four now there's only one box we need to adjust and that is basically this guy on the right so what we're gonna do is we're going to zoom in a little until we can actually tilt it and until it looks like it's on the floor so we're gonna go ahead and resize it a little then we're going to turn it we're gonna resize it just a little and then we're gonna go ahead and twist it like this and now we're gonna make that line this guy align with this line so then we're gonna position it right here as you can see that one looks really really nice but then we need to just go ahead and resize it a little like that then we're gonna place it on the floor and we're gonna make sure that everything right here is covered on these edges okay i think this one looks pretty nice so let's go ahead and position this just a little bit right there but we need to go ahead and adjust a few things and add in some it's like fire particles so we're gonna drag that in also then we're gonna insert a video track and then we're gonna place it obviously on top as well and then we're gonna go to the compositing mode and we need to put that one to screen as you can see like that but that's something that's optional, obviously. Okay, and the last thing we need is a red glow. Because as you can see, when there's lava in our kitchen, for example, it's never going to look like it's just normal. We need to adjust it. So we're going to add in a red glow. And we're going to resize this one as well. And we're going to actually, for example, make it look like the lava is glowing. So we're not going to overlay that, you know, as you can see on these doors because it has to look realistic. So you got to go ahead and drag that guy down a bit until we see only the glow right here. And then right there at the top, it is just normal because lava is like glowing, but it's not glowing too much. Position this guy a little bit like this. And what you can also do optional is just make some flames come out and everything. And like I've mentioned, these particles what we can do is we can just obviously resize those into the lava as you can see and obviously we can also just resize and you know position it differently you know those particles 
So that's what we can also do. We can, you know, just line up these particles with the lava. So I'm going to just go ahead and see when it looks like that. So if I go ahead and play it back, as you can see, this is basically how you make the floor lava, guys. It is that simple. That is how to do it. If you're going to use this effect to go ahead and hit me up on YouTube under a video, leave a comment like, Alex, I did this. Check it out on my channel or hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, anything like that. I'll be reading my DMs. So guys, this is how you create an amazing how to make the floor is lava effect in Vegas Pro 16. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. If you found this video helpful, make sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys obviously in a brand new reacting to subscriber videos episode tomorrow, obviously, as always on Thursday. So I will see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video.